How you doing? Could I get two bacon and cheese toasties? Yeah. And a uh, and a latte, please. It's half nine, an hour ago my phone rang and James was like, hi Johnny, and I said, you need the trailer back James, and he said, I do, and I had been in bed for maybe two hours, two and a half hours, I'm gonna have to go back to sleep, and then wake up, and start today again I suppose, so uh, yeah. I'm still set for 11.45. I'm going to go back to bed for two hours. Oh my God. Sleep for about uh, well, it's half two now. I have to go and collect the past parcel vinyl graphic stickers. Oh my god, I just said a lot of words there. Oh, my brain is sore. Final stickers, mission accomplished. Oh, back home now. Sorry for the sneezing. This is part of life right now. I'm better, I'm fine, I'm not sick, I'm fine. Absolutely good. Totally fine, totally. Home now. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not letting it beat me. I have a few things to do before we head back into the past parcel shop and finish off the, the uh, the display units and all that kind of good stuff. And uh oh well. Ah, it's funny. I have a gig Sunday Monday, and the funny thing is, even though I'll still be unwell, it's like it's like when you were younger and you were sick and you didn't go to school, but you were still able to like go to soccer practice, or you were still able to go out and play with your friends. You will play the most amazing gigs of your life when you're sick, because you put me in front of an audience, and if I have no hands, I will play guitar. Once the audience is there, there's no excuses. You can't, you can't cop out, you can't, you can't pull the other one. You have to just do it. Once people come to a gig, they are relying on the artist on stage to be there uh, source of entertainment, their escape from reality for an hour and a half or whatever it is, and you can't let the audience down. That's that's my view on it. So you gotta dig deep. So if you're feeling sick, the audience don't give a shit. Make the gig amazing. Don't make any excuses. I'm not a huge fan of of artists who stand on stage and say, "Oh, we've never played this song before," or "Oh, um, we haven't rehearsed this one in a while," or "Oh, we throw some bits." They don't care. Stop making excuses when you're on stage. Your job is to entertain and give 100%. And if that 100% you have on the day isn't, isn't the best you can do, but you give 100%, that's all that matters. Just give 100%. Okay. Oh, jelly bean. Okay, we're heading in to the bowling market to finish off the past parcel.
purpose here today is to put the pasta parcel graphics on each one of these three giant pasta parcel stickers anyway. This is the most satisfying part of doing this. <laughs> oh, um, genius. I was a genius before this stuff. Two more of those to do. Number one. Number two. Let's do number three now. It's amazing. Three. And one. Graphics, logos, vinyl. Stickers, done. Boom. The next task is to hang some product on the newly adorned white walls of parcelage. This is the Christmas parcel. Look at that hat. Oh look at this, there's a little penguin word. <laughs> We're gonna do something here now. I think it's all coming together fantastically. Fan fantismo! If there's one thing every pasta parcel shop needs, it's uh, balloons. Okay, tonight's task has been successfully completed. Uh, when you see this, Saturday morning at half seven, come into the Bullring Market and check out the new pasta parcel shop. First cabin on the left, in with rake of cakes. Get your parcel. Simple as that. Good job. Say hi, Emily. Home from all that work you've seen. Why is this making noise? Holy hell, that's hot. I really need to pee, uh, but tomorrow's a new day. And then Sunday we're going to Belfast, and Monday we're going to Dublin, so lots of exciting things happening. I'm currently doing this to stop me from peeing. But you've been watching Daily Wolf, this is Wolf with two Fs. I'll see you tomorrow. Tune in, follow me on Spotify. Boom, bye.